welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different. We are doing a clothing haul slash review slash like try on haul thing. I'm sure you guys have heard of this company before. It's, I believe it's pronounced Sheen or Shein. I'm not 100% sure. I'll put it on the screen here. You guys would have seen it in the title and it'll be in the description box as well. Um, but they are similar to like Wish and Romwe and Zaffle and all these other companies um, that are out there that have extremely affordable prices. Um, so a lot of the times the clothing looks too good to be true and I have tried things from both Wish and Romwe and I feel like it's very like hit or miss. Either it's like really pretty decent um, for an extremely good price or it's just like awful <laughs> so I've been needing some new leggings a lot of my leggings and I usually I usually buy my leggings at uh, Victoria's Secret and they're very expensive and I've noticed recently that even though you know I'm spending like $50 on one pair of leggings the um, the seam on the inside like near the crotch area still tends to like unravel or I get holes there super fast and easy and I'm like why am I spending all this money again so I thought you know what I'm gonna try one of these cheaper websites and see what I can find and I went to all the different ones but from what I could see the price and selection was best on Shein's website and so that is why I ordered from them um, I ordered I can't remember we're gonna look at it all in a second I can't remember how many pairs I ordered um, but I got quite a few pairs and I only paid like $60 for everything so I'm going to do a try on haul so in just a second you guys will see me wearing each of the pants so we can see if they're if they're thick enough to cover you know my underwear <laughs> um, and we're also um, I'll also put the prices of each one and then after we do the try on haul I'll talk to you guys about my overall thoughts because I really want to try on every single pair and see um, overall how they are. I have a feeling a, a few of them will be good and a few of them will be bad. I'm not sure yet. haven't tried them yet. Um, they just arrived. Let's go ahead and start with the try on portion of this video. Before we get into that, I always, always forget the lip color and every time you guys ask me what I'm wearing. Um, so today on my lips I have this Lancome Juicy Matte Shaker in the shade Kiss Me Cherie. It's kind of like a pinky red. So, and you can build it up. When I first put it on it was a very sheer pink and then I kind of built it up to this color. So anyways, that's what's on my lips today, but let's get into the try on. Alrighty, so this is the first pair of leggings here. They're black, but they do have like a really shiny finish, which you're going to see in a second when I get closer. They are called the Active High Waist Crop Legging, and I paid $6.80 for this. Um, as you can see, they're pretty thick and they're not too see-through. When I turn to the side to show you my butt, <laughs> you can see a little bit that they're a tiny bit see-through but not too bad. All right, here's the second pair of leggings. Um, these are the gray ones are called the Shein High Waist Marled Knit Legging. And these ones I paid $5.95 for. They are quite see-through, as you can see. Uh, the next pair here, these ones um, have a little bit of a um, attachment to the foot here, so you can um, I don't know what that's called, so you can pull it down over your foot there. Um, but anyways, these ones have the sheer cutout. The sheer cutout was a little high for my taste. I feel like you could see some of the my cellulite that I would normally like to hide. The name of these are the Shein Mesh Insert Heathered Knit Pants, and these were also just $5.95. Alright, this next pair here is called the Active Camel Print Legging. These were just $6.80. And from a distance, I feel like they look okay. But as you get closer up, you can see um, they have just kind of, I don't know, a little bit of a strange coloring to them. Um, but they're not too bad and they were not see-through, which was good. Alrighty, this next pair of leggings here is called the Shein Lace Up Hem Marled Knit leggings and I paid $5.95 for these. So here I'm showing you guys the string on the back of these where you're supposed to tie it is so long. It's definitely a tripping hazard. Um, I will insert a photo in a second, uh, a close-up of them, but no matter how you tied this, it's just going to be too long. All right, this next pair of leggings is called the Love Print Marled Knit Leggings, and these were also $5.95. They were a little long, like I had to kind of straighten them out and they were still just a little bunched up at the bottom, um, but they're really, really soft, these ones. And then you can see as I turn around here, they're quite a bit sheer around the booty, so you'll definitely have to be really careful with those. 
All right, this next pair of leggings, this one also has the writing on the side of the leg. This is called the Active Letter Print Legging. This was $5.95. It says Glam On on these ones. I actually really like these ones because they're super soft. Again, they are very sheer, so you do have to be careful with these, but they're really soft. On to the last pair. These are called the Gray Marled Knit Contrast Mesh Insert Leggings. These ones were $6.80. I really liked these ones. I was kind of surprised that uh, they felt like a higher quality than I was expecting, especially where the mesh was sewn in. It was sewn in really well. It wasn't flimsy. I didn't have any loose threads on any of these pants. So, All right, guys. So I just wanted to do a quick like overall thoughts about the leggings after I did the whole try on. I waited about, it's been about a week, maybe a little more than a week since I filmed that try on. And I've been wearing the leggings throughout this week. I even washed a couple pairs so that I could see how they hold up in the wash. Um, I thought that I could just try them on and like have an opinion on them, but honestly, um, I was kind of expecting them to be horrible and they weren't as bad as I thought. So they're obviously not the best quality I have ever tried, but they're not as bad as I was expecting for the price. Um, I am wearing a pair of them today. I'm wearing the, um, the uh, camo ones and they're super super soft my main concern with them is that they are um, a lot of them see-through enough to see your underwear they're not completely sheer like I was expecting um, but in certain light you can see your underwear so so I've just been wearing them around the house and I do like wearing leggings around the house and they're actually pretty soft these ones that I'm wearing are super soft and stretchy and comfortable so I've been actually really enjoying the leggings I was I was very pleasantly surprised now now like I said though they are a little bit on the sheer side so if you're going to be wearing them out in public I would be really really careful um, double check them in a bright light to make sure that you can't see your underwear maybe wear maybe wear nude underwear with it or something like that uh, take precautions maybe a long shirt or maybe wear them with a dress I don't know something like that but anyway I just wanted to let you guys know my overall th thoughts I think for the price if you're just gonna wear them around the house I think they are definitely worth getting um, a few pairs but be really careful you can kind of tell when you're scrolling through Shein's website which ones are not very good quality because even on the models in the photos you can kind of see which ones were not built very well but I would say my favorite two pairs I really like the first pair the black uh, leggings that were kind of shiny. Those ones are super comfortable. I've been really enjoying wearing those. These ones that I'm wearing right now are so, so soft and stretchy. So these are another one that are um, my favorites as well. And which other ones? Oh, I did like the black ones that have, it says like glam on on the side and I did wash those and they held up just fine in the wash. So um, yeah, those were probably my favorite ones. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. I hope you found it useful. Um, like I said, I think it's worth checking them out if you're going to just wear them around the house or something like that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe while you're here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.